Hey, 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 love gang. It's me, Rashana Love, and I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this cute flip over wig install with this wig that was sent to me from West Kids Hair. Hello, once again. This video is sponsored by West Kids Hair. They sent me over this beautiful 24 inch, 200 density curly wig. When I say this wig is so thick and beautiful, I'm in love. For glue, we're using my glue, which is called Love Stuck. And I got, I went in with only one layer of this just for this video, but the hold is extremely strong. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my hairline, not my hairline, my forehead, and spread it out with the popsicle stick. And now I'm going to begin to apply the lace and hold it down on one side as I'm pulling the other side to allow the glue to set in. Um, back to this unit, this unit is so perfect. I barely even had to pluck this wig because it just came so, it, it came, the hairline came so pre-plucked. I barely had to pluck anything and I really love that about this. All I did was bleach the knots. I did a little bit of plucking, but it really didn't require plucking at all. I just did extra plucking just because. And right now I'm just making sure that the glue dries by tying it down with an elastic band letting it dry for a little bit and once i take that elastic band off i'm going to go ahead with this small scissors that i got from amazon and begin to cut off the wig cut off the excess lace um as you guys can see the quality of this wig is amazing like the lace everything was just perfect i love it so much and this is this is definitely a wig i would recommend i will rant rave about this wig because it's just so amazing and I'm really jamming right now. This was like so late at night. I was playing my music and getting these promos done to melt the lace. And I'm going to go with my product once again, which is called Love Melt, and begin to apply it with a Q-tip. But the Q-tip was taking too long, so I did end up using my fingers after a while. I don't know if I left that part in. But, yes, you guys, um, once I'm tying, once I'm allowing the Love Melt to dry, I go ahead with my Love Sleek and... Place that onto the hair and use my hot comb to sleek everything out. All these products that I'm using to install this wig can be purchased directly from me. Um, the products are not completely dropped yet. It will be really soon. I just have to organize a few things, get everything in order before I start sending it to the public. But when I say this wig is... Not the wig. When I say my products are amazing, I'm not just saying it because... I'm selling it. I'm saying it because I've actually tried it myself and seen how good it is. I went on a vacation to Jamaica for five days, and my wig didn't budge not once. I was underwater and everything. I'll show you guys more content when we're using the products so you guys can see more than I can say. And now look at how tight and snug that hole is with just one layer of glue. One thing about me, I'm not going to sell something that I don't believe in because I, don't, I wouldn't feel right, but... Now I'm going to go ahead and start these baby hairs. This video is not too long because in, in reality, the insole did not take me long either. I'm going to go ahead and part out my baby hairs. For baby hairs, I want to do something really soft but dramatic at the same time. Over here, the it looks kind of weird because when I applied the lace, I did smash my fingers into the lace a little bit too much and the glue ended up seeping through the lace. But I'm gonna make I'm gonna make it work. This is just an example of what not to do. Like be a little bit more gentle when applying your um, lace to the glue. Pardon not the baby hairs. Using this comb, and if you guys look close, you guys can see the ball cap underneath. Cause I didn't melt it down for the simple fact that I didn't plan on keeping this insulin for long. It still looked good, but it is noticeable if you look close. Cut the baby hair short using our same scissors, and then I'm going to go ahead and curl the baby hairs using my skinny flat iron from Amazon. There's no there's no specific brand for this um, flat iron. You can literally go on Amazon and type in skinny skinny flat iron, and whatever one pops up that's the, that's the most budget-friendly for you, you're going to just go ahead and purchase it. Now, to start the baby hairs, I like to just go ahead and just form it without product. And with product, just form it without product at first. And then once I like how it's coming out, I'm going to go ahead and take some of the black even spray and begin using it to sleek my baby hairs. As you guys can see right here, I'm realizing it's way too long. So I'm going to go back in afterward, as you guys can see, and cut it and pluck it some more. Baby hairs are really just something where you can let free. It's basically on preference. I really, really, really wanted that free. Free, flowy soft 
but fluffy look i love how baby hairs like this looks you guys and you just have to go back in you have to keep cutting keep plucking until you get it to how you want um when this when i was done with this you guys i was in love like i love this so much and it sucks because i have to do another video after this so i didn't keep it in for long but through it all i love how this came out and as i was saying about my products I literally went to Jamaica for five days, and my wig did not move. I was underwater. My wig did not move. Don't get me wrong. The front definitely did lift, like the very front of it, but that's a quick, simple fix. And that only happened after I got into the water. So I'm going to do some more testing with the glue, though, before I officially start, before I officially start selling it. I'm going to do more testing with it, you know, make more content about it so people can know I'm not just talking about a product because I'm selling it, that I'm actually using the product and I actually believe in the product and in order to get that you know that flip up look I just held down the middle of it and I just brushed forward for some and backward for some until it created that you know seamless look yeah I love how these baby hairs came out like I love this so much and then the wig just made it so much easier to get the look done and for the ends of the baby hair I like to swoop it into the hair so it just looks seamless onto the sideburns i'm going to do the exact same thing and swoop it forward and lay it down and i'm going to cut some more as you guys can see and swoop some more it's really just a it's really baby hair is something you just have fun with you be free with it like you're not supposed to be too stiff with it you know you just want it to be free and flowy you don't want it to look too forced like i mean sometimes it could look forced well not forced but it can be stuck into place it doesn't look like you're going for but for this look i just really want it to be more free and flowy and more of like a a soft look you know what i'm saying like and i feel like i achieved that really good and i'm just gonna go ahead and use okay so let me tell you guys so sometimes i use the comb part sometimes i use the brush part and that's just based on how the baby is coming out so you see like how i want it to get how i will use the brush part to lay it flat and the comb part to make it fluffy in terms of like letting make all the hairs lay the same direction so you see i'm getting it flat with the brush part at this part and then i will switch back through it with the comb to get it to lay the same direction this is the finished product thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to purchase this wig from west kiss here if you would like to purchase the exact one that's on my head styled by me you can purchase that in the description box down below as well um, I am going to be selling all my promotional wigs at a low price because most of them I only wear for like a couple hours and take it off. Thank you guys for watching once again. I'll see you guys in my next video.